Yeah, it has. I mean, um, you know, it's been a, you know, a fairly, um, let's put it mildly, fairly, fairly challenging month to be, to be fair. Um, yeah. So, but it was, you know, I was really pleased with the, you know, the way the lads fought today. Um, the officials made it hard for us again. Um, I'm not too sure about, you know, uh, I think it was Joshy Curran there. I'm not too sure where he was supposed to disappear to, but um, yeah. So, but I was yeah, really pleased for the way, you know, the boys, you know, to finish off the year after the, you know the last couple of weeks that we've had. Um, you know, it's been a bit of a horror stretch for us, and to come here, uh, you know, we were missing Dave pulled out yesterday. I think we left seven NRL players back in Auckland through injury, so. Um, yeah, so I was just pleased with the way the boys you know, stuck at it. You more sort of said during the week to kind of get them up, as you say, you know, for one last game after a, a month of results that weren't exactly up to par. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was. I mean, the lads have always, you know, believed that you know we can, you know, we got some footy in us, and you know we can. Was we just haven't been consistent enough, you know, and that's you know, that's the reality of the of our situation. So. It was just about uh, coming here and you know, sticking at you know what we think works for us, and um, uh, you know a few things went our way today, and um, and, um, um, and we and we did we stuck you know we stuck to you know what works for us, and um, we were able to come away with a win. Looking forward to next year. You mentioned consistency. I guess that's always been the mark against Warriors sides. So the talent's obviously there, and we produce it on certain days, but not. Consistently enough throughout the season, how do you change that? Yeah, oh, well, I mean, you know, I believe you know, you got to, you know, be consistent at training and you know, continue to focus on you know that stuff, you know, part of the process. And and to be fair, you know, there's, there's probably only a, you know three maybe three teams in the competition that have been super consistent for the last you know 15 years. So everyone's you know trying to you know reach that level, and you know we're no different. Um, so you know we'll have a. Uh, opportunity over the next week to reflect on the year and um, uh, you know make some adjustments you know to our um, uh, our game model which I, you know which I think will help us um, next year and uh, and work on it during the preseason. Sides that have made a bit of a leap this year has been you know the Raiders being one normally um, has been back off the back of defence. Is that something that might change in your game model? Oh, I mean you know. As I touched on earlier, with the month that we've had, you know, it's um, um, you know we played against um, three, f three of the top, you know, three of the teams in the top four, and one of them twice, and you know uh, it showed from some score lines there that we, you know, weren't up to par, and you know, so that's you know that'll be definitely an area of focus. But to turn it around, I guess, you know, from the last time we played the, you know, the Raiders at home for you guys uh, to then turn around and that must sort of say a lot about the, the character of the side as well. Yeah, I, I know the characters, you know, I know the characters there. I mean, you know, we've, you know, we've had a stretch of games earlier this, you know, earlier on in the year, just before we sort of hit the, hit the back end of the year, which, you know, we, the lads, you know, fought really hard. Um, I think they're probably a um, stretch of six games here where it was a point, two points, draw, um, and uh, the guys, you know, kept at it. So I know it's there, but as I touched on, you know, in this competition, it's you know, 25 rounds, and you know, it'll be consistent every week, and uh, that's what we'll be looking to do next year. That, that team try that was that must be brought a smile to your face through maybe about 14, 15 sets of hands before Roger finished it off. Um, not as much as the you know final whistle. Um, so, uh, but yeah, I mean. Um, that's what you know the lads are capable of, and you know, I was you know, pleased that they did get the uh, you know, get the uh, reward. And Roger provided that bit of spark in that last sort of ten or twelve minutes. Um, again, very active. Again, just a, a leader from the front for you guys. Uh, he has been all year, um, you know, and that's you know that's uh, Roger. You know, he's that's why he's a skipper, wonderful leader, and um, yeah. So I mean, he's. Um, uh, super determined, to, you know, to to, you know, to win, and, and uh, he showed that. Soon, I reckon, in the last 15 minutes you know, today, he really wanted to make sure that we um, come away with the result. First game for the club. Can you talk a bit about his journey over the past 12 months? 
Yeah, I'm really pleased for T. I I mean, again, he got this opportunity because, um, you know, David was ruled out yesterday um, through a bit of a tight hammy. So, um, uh, Tane, he's had his indiscretions over the last couple of years and um, uh, which have been well documented. He wrote me a letter over the, uh, before the pre-season started saying that he wanted an opportunity, he'd stuffed up. Um, yeah, he took ownership of that and um, so, we gave him a pre-season and um, uh, he, he trained, trained pretty well and uh, trained in trial and then we ended up signing him to a, uh, into our 30 and um, took the round 25 to you know, get the opportunity and I wasn't going to you know, throw him in there, he, needed, he had to earn his opportunity and um, he's done that and you know, I was really pleased for him today and I thought he you know, had a great uh, debut for the, for the footy club. Think you'll use him a bit more next year? Or? You better have a good pre-season, yeah. So, uh, but you know, again, you see what he's capable of. So, um, if he's playing his best footy, then you know he's a, definitely an asset. Would you sort of make it at the Raiders today? You think they can sort of bounce back next? Oh, week? yeah, without a doubt. You know, in fairness to the Raiders, I'm, I, I wouldn't. You know, Rick probably wouldn't like me saying it, but you know, they quite possibly could have had a thought on you know next week. We needed to take advantage of that too. So, and um, uh, but yeah, I mean, they're. I reckon they're. You know, they're the. They're certainly uh, uh, the real deal. There's no doubt about that. What did you make of the Hudson Young incident? Yeah, it didn't look good. You know, from you know, from my perspective, you know, I think he had two snaps at him. So uh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't think it looked real pretty. Just happy your bloke didn't respond, I guess. Sorry? Just happy your didn't respond? Well, it's, you know, sometimes you, you know, you, in that situation, you probably, you know, you know, what's going on, you know, like, so, um, you know, he, he's not looking um, at him, so, um, but yeah, he didn't look good. Thanks, man. Thanks, guys. Thank you.